This is the newest pin code in town. This is the latest address of the diamond industry in India and the global markets as well. This is the largest office in the global market. It has been Pentagon US for 80 long years, which boasted of the largest office in the world. But clearly that title has now been taken away by the Surat Diamond Bourse here. Well, there are a few good things about this place. One, it's a green building. It has a platin platinum grading in that. Two, it has all the punch tatwas made into it, uh, it's somehow woven into it. The third thing is that there is uh, modern engineering gone into this when it comes to Vastu as well. And the fourth thing is, uh, this is a, a very different thing really because all the 4,500 offices that have been sold here were sold even before the construction here began. And the point being that it takes the same amount of equal time to reach from one office to any of the facilities here. There are 131 elevators, so that ensures that you do not take too long to reach from one place to another. There is medical facility, there is a mall, there is cafeteria. There also is a diamond club here, which is where 27 retail showrooms will be put out, where you can go out and buy jewelry here. The other important thing is that not one diamond here could actually go out and choose an office location or a space. It was done by a lottery system. So all offices are easily accessible. Joining us on the show now is Mr. Dinesh Navaria. He's President, Indian Diamond Institute. Dinesh Bhai, thank you so much for joining us and many congratulations. I mean, we are standing at a place which is making history thank right now in much. sense of length and breadth and the work that is expected to be done here as well. But the main question that everybody is asking is, will the trade in Mumbai and the other parts of the country actually shift to Surat now that this building is here? Not, not possible. Uh, diamond industry always uh, cooperative based society like right. many people to get together and we have make the diamond cutting and polish mm. and surat uh, mostly as sme sector small manufacturing unit mostly right. mm. and um, i my thinking that 10 to 15 percent people are large unit okay. he is also official worldwide yeah, bombay ya yeah, belgium ya yeah, dubai ya yeah, america mm. But the SME sector is maybe 85%. In Surat itself? In Surat. And okay. he is also a joint with the cut and polish industry. Right. Small unit, 10 unit, 15 unit, 20 unit. Mm. And his expense is slow, okay. um, very nominal. Okay. When he start office in Bombay and we start office in Dubai and Belgium, not possible. Mm. When I was the president of the Surat Diamond Association, I was thinking, uh, what about these people? Mm. Then we have made the meeting, many meeting, and uh, we have created the idea. Mm. Ke why we do not start the building here, big offices, mm. and small people uh, come to get to get together, and we have made the big offices. Mm. Two three years, some men people ask me, "You are pagal man?" <laughs> okay. So, okay, I am pagal man. Nothing. <laughs> But then two up two three years, big people also lie, mostly Vallabhai Kiran James, uh, chairman of the right now the Surat Diamond Booth, mm. he is uh, agree. Mm. Can I your? Uh, this is something that something can be done. Can done. Mm. Makes sense. Then make the uh, uh, we have planning. We have uh, invite the small manufacturer. Okay, you have need how many square feet offices? Okay. And uh, first of the fifteen thousand people uh, inquiry. Okay, we have interested. And I think it is not possible. 15,000 people are interested and uh, some people are the investment money only for the office. Okay. But this we have not uh, uh, businessmen. We have to uh, support of the small uh, people. Right. And we have uh, decided we have to take the 10% money mm. for the booking. Mm. Then the 5,000 people are okay. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And uh, all the public uh, give the requirement. Mostly 300 square foot is the big... Uh, um, uh, the maximum of offices the, are 300 uh, square 300 feet. Square so feet. there are 300 square feet offices and there is a 1 lakh square feet office also. Yeah, 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 so yeah. would you say that this really is a convergence of everybody within the diamond industry? 100% madam. The, all the people, big, small, micro, small people, all the two come together. Hmm. And uh, we have make the one uh, no profit, no loss company, 21 section C. Right. And uh, 31 people, we have the one small group. Mm. He take the responsibility.
for they make the, this building. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, some people, we have asked for what is your requirement. Some people give me 300, some people give me 500, mm. 1,000, 100, 5,000, 200, 200, 5,000. Okay. Then we have asked him how many you have need the parking, mm. four wheel, two wheel. So, so everything was the, talked the about and then yeah. this was created. Yeah, yeah. So this is basically bespoke, made custom tailored. Who yeah. wants what is what is created here? Created, yeah. Tell us also about what is the diamond, business, diamond industry's business right now? Because we do understand with the COVID and then the slowdown and the exports not doing so well, there's a lot that is happening in the diamond sector also right now. Madam, you, you have right. But uh, in COVID period, we have the golden period for the diamond industry. <laughs> And the right now, it just, uh, movement is slow. Mm. But, uh, uh, all over our turnover is $42 billion, right. gems and jewelry sector. Right. right now, maybe this year is maybe $2, $3 billion down. Less. Mm. Uh, less than. Mm. Because the American situation and Ukrainian and Russia okay. situation, mm. uh, that's why uh, worldwide demand is slow. Uh, we have only labor. We have import the raw material 100% from the outside. And then we have cotton polish, and cotton polish we have export. Our main client is America and the China, 3, 3, 3 point, uh, 35%, 35%. Maybe two countries, 70%. And another 30% is uh, UAE and European country, and in Japan, and Asian country, small, small. Mm. But our main, lastly, finally, client is America. Right. All over, when the Hong Kong made the diamond jewelry, European make the diamond jewelry, mm -hmm. all the export from the America. Maybe 70, 75 percent consumption market is USA. US and China, and right now, USA is the big crisis. And that's why uh, this the numbers time, are not so uh, great. Not also, Dinesh Bhai, tell us, because uh, until now we're only talking about the diamond as an industry, but we do understand that a lot of uh, lab-grown diamond also seems to be getting into the market. Are those guys also buying offices here? Uh, right, no. <laughs> Is right. <laughs> many, people, many people are buying the CVD, mm -hmm. uh, manufacturing uh, invest okay. here, and mm -hmm. they also transfer. Maybe 35 company give the agri-case. Ag we have started the 21 November. Okay. We have started our office in the Surat Diamond Bus. Okay. And the uh, CVD Diamond is the, our Prime Minister Narendra Bhai Modi making India vision. Mm. Now is a success. Mm. When the Narendra Bhai Modi is the CM of the Gujarat, every two years when the vibrate, vibrate Gujarat, uh, South Gujarat Chamber of Commerce uh, uh, create the exhibition of sparkle. Mm. Every time he come to the inauguration, that mm. time he give the speech. Mm. Why out, not out of the labor? you come to uh, addition mm. and make the money. Okay. And uh, last uh, month, our Prime Minister, this is month, our Prime Minister go to the America and he give the 7.5 green yes. labrador diamond. Yes. Now he's our ambassador. Mm. So now world is no, what is the CVD diamond? Right. The CVD diamond is government, public also benefit because we have produced the raw material and the same process. Natural diamond cotton process and CVD diamond cotton process is same, mm. no different. That's the carrier also benefits. Right. When the natural diamond is the slower, slower mm. then the CVD diamond worker to come here and make the uh, working. Totally. The worker is not uh, lost his job, not the lost his uh, uh, anything. Mm. That's why the CVD diamond uh, in, uh, diamond is the based of our gems and jewelry sector right now. So tell me this also, you know, there are a lot of conversations that how this building can change the way the Surat works in sense of diamond as an industry. Do you see more employment? Do you see more progression? Do you see more progress now coming in, in economic sense also because of this? Uh, first of the benefit of the Gujarat government, mm. when the many offices come here, we mm. filing the income tax file from the year. <laughs> okay. The government, central government, state government uh, percentage wise, uh, that's the uh, Gujarat government increase the income. Mm. Second is the local real estate, education, health sector, and the manoranjan sector, mm. and hotel business. Mm. All are the growing. Small, small Karyanas, Dukan, all the benefits. When the Surat Diamond start, maybe one lakh pub public create the new job. New and jobs. you uh, calculation 5%, so maybe 5 lakhs people come in Surat. And all are the job in Surat Diamond Boost. The economics is boosting, 
Surat is already see a growing city in the all of world right now. Clearly, a lot is happening in Surat. But tell us, how much is India actually buying into diamond also? We do understand that 90% of all, of, all, of all cutting and polishing happens here. But have you also seen India buy more and more diamond? Uh, right now, there? right now, maybe 5%, 6% local okay. consumption. Hmm. An in, uh, Indian public interest in gold hmm. because the uh, poor public, medium uh, classes, all are the uh, inter uh, thinking of gold is the bearer check. Mm. Anytime it we is. require money. It is. <laughs> it has been proven. When you go to the market. But do you see a lot of aspirational diamond buying now, even if it is in small carriage, higher carriage, are more and more people buying diamond? South, South public is uh, yeah. uh, maybe is interested in high, high quality diamond. Okay. And Delhi, Haryana, side um, lower quality, okay. but not big value. Okay. But now CVD diamond, public interested because is the cheaper. Right. Many middle class interested in the diamond jewelry is a woman, mm. but now is availability in uh, small uh, uh, lower price. Mm. So uh, Indian public uh, interested in and buying the CVD diamond jewelry also. Okay. Make the, the that's the CVD diamond market India and world. Mm. Two markets. India is the biggest market. World is already biggest market. Okay. America is high. So good demand for the CVD diamond right, right. now. That's the why uh, diamond industry growing fastly. CVD absolutely. diamond industry growing fastly. So it's fastly. absolutely shine like a diamond and a huge new building which is shining like a diamond right now. And as Adhinerji tells us that the demand is going higher, the employment may go on the higher side as well. And the market's clearly looking at better demand going forward. All right, so these are the nine uh, 15 story buildings which are interconnected and we are actually at the spine of this. This is what actually connects all the buildings there and there are so many positives and so many advantages here and we will hear it all from the man joining me right now. Here is Mr. Mahesh Gadvi. He is CEO at Surat Diamond Boards. Mahesh, thank you so much for joining us and what a phenomena and uh, a history being created here as we speak to you. Tell us more about on, uh, and we also do understand that all the 4200 offices have already been sold even before the construction began here. How does that work? Yes, um, thank you very much. And once, uh, one thing is Surat Diamond Boots is a Section 8 company, which is uh, not for profit. So it is the committee came together, the entire industry came together and the led by the committee. And the committee has decided to construct this entire diamond boards. And we have asked to the members who want to join and want to have an office in that. And as per the requirement of the members, whatever the members uh, asked or whatever the requirement that we have constructed here in Surat Diamond Boots. So there is, as you rightly said, there is nothing to sell because whatever we have sold we have constructed here so you are telling us that the list that you have right now is 4200 diamond tiers in India who are housed out of here yes it's a um, more than uh, 4500 offices and the members are more than 4000 okay. they all are the from the diamond industry and you can say the entire <laughs> industry actually all right. The other big thing and everybody is gloating about and patting their back is that this is the biggest office in the world now. Tell us about how many acres is this, what is the build-up area and how much would each office be like? I mean, are they huge offices? Yes, as I said, it's as per the requirement. So we have the various units of 300 square foot, 500 square foot, 1,000 square foot, and uh, the the next category is a 1,500 and above. Okay. So low, uh, the smallest unit is a 300 square foot, and the highest was it is more than one lakh square foot, which oh. combines four floors hmm. in a tower A. Okay. Uh, as you as you have asked, the uh, you know the how it's become the world's largest office building. Hmm. Uh, we have nine towers of ground floor, 15 stories building uh, uh, for, for ground floor 15 story and all are connected to the all floor so technically it becomes a single building mm. where all these nine towers are connected to the all floor with the central structure what we call it the spine mm. so it becomes a, a single office building mm. and it's the world's largest um, office building with more than 67 lakh square foot of construction area was that by design i mean you wanted to create the biggest office ever or it just happened no no it, it just happened because okay. as i said we have constructed what what was been asked from the members what was the requirement mm. and by constructing that uh, number of offices mm. and whatever we required to you know make a efficient operations of uh, that offices mm. all the connectivity and each and everything which we have considered during our design and that uh, that you know become a uh, 6.7 million square foot of construction area mm. so this was government land which you have purchased 
at yes. a price. Yes, we have a purchase is from Dream City Limited, which is a special SPV from government of Gujarat and SMC, and we have purchased uh, that uh, this area of uh, one lakh forty. Three thousand eight hundred twenty-five square meter. Mm -hmm. Okay, you uh, have the numbers this. by heart here. Yes, because we have paid for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much have you paid for the land to begin with? Yes, it as per the uh, you know the valuation government made, yes. and it totals around um, six hundred twenty-seven. Course. This is the market price right now. Yes, yes, it's the market price, and uh, government is selling uh, same land uh, by the auction for the other purpose uh, with the entire within this uh, dream city. Mm. Uh, you know, Mahesh, the big thing always is that uh, while of course Surat is the uh, capital when it comes to cutting of diamonds in the world, but much of the trade really happens in Bombay, and many of the diamonds we've seen in the last few years actually shift to Mumbai. Do you see many of them now coming back to Surat? See here, the, as I don't have to sell anything, so it has been decided who is coming, right. who has brought office here. They are coming, right? And the other thing is that uh, here, as you rightly said, more than 90 percent of the diamond in the world are cut and polished with Surat. So uh, having a trading uh, center in Surat is always, uh, you know, beneficial in terms of supply chain management. And um, earlier there there was no other option, so now they have an uh, option. In Surat, mm. so you have the cutters, polishers, traders, um, uh, other market. So all stakeholders basically are going to be working out of here. Yes, this entire campus is designed like that, from the raw material to they, we can we we have a custom clearance house here. Mm. So import of the raw uh, diamonds will be here, and the uh, other than cutting and polishing job, which has been done in the Surat uh, on in their uh, manufacturing unit, all the other things will be happen in uh, here, from cut uh, rough diamond to the polish selling of the polished diamond. Will be going to be in here in Surat Diamond Bursa, and this premises have uh, as 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 more than as I said more than 4,500 offices, and uh, that all start from the first floor. In ground floor, we have made all the facilities required for the trading. Okay. That that uh, that it is um, uh, financial institute, banks, uh, restaurants, cafeterias, tools, stationery, everything, uh, uh, medical center, everything is here in the ground floor. Other than that, we have custom clearance house. That is the state of art custom clearance. house where we want to make this custom clearance process very faster okay. efficient so there should be a no delay in as we are dealing in the precious most precious thing in the world mm -hmm. so we want to make this process faster and that's why we have um, made a spacious uh, custom clearance house and other than that we are providing the jewelry mall mm -hmm. and it's not just b2b i mean you were telling us a while ago that it is b2c also i mean you will open the first floor for the retailers for the consumers to come in also yes in diamond club the uh, the nine towers and the spine are all are in the secure zone where trading activity b2b activity will going to happen for the retail customers we have made a diamond club where we have a custom clearance house then ground floor we have uh, uh, provisional space and on first floor we are making 27 jewelry outlets so that jewelry mall will be you know uh, we are allowing people to enjoy the jewelry shopping here in diamond bursa mm. mr gadwi i'm sure uh, uh, you have november as a deadline for opening this so what is the date there and is it falling around diwali because that is the time people tend to buy a lot of jewelry Yes, 21st uh, November is the date where we are starting the trading activity within Surat Diamond Bursa, mm -hmm. and uh, yes, uh, maybe before that we will be ready for that. <laughs> All right. I mean, as you said, that uh, the whole place is already sold. You have a committee which works on this. You also have uh, various committee verticals who work on this as well. So, who takes care of what's happen happens into this building? Is there an association that is going to be working? How is the whole work about of this place uh, is going to happen? We are registered under Section 8 company. That is the okay. structure of the company where we have our directors. But uh, we have a separate committee who is taking the decisions, and they all are the committee members are all from the diamond industry, mm -hmm. and they are voluntarily serving. They are giving their experience, their output, their time, and you know uh, sometimes their valuable feedback. Mm -hmm. What should be the uh, this campus look like in terms of when we are talking about the business? What what are the things which make a business easy when while they are trading? As you Uh, as i've explained you the connecting structure spine that comes like uh, in trading they require connectivity so here we have a spine <laughs> oh absolutely so what is the theme around this place what is the thought around this place because everything every floor that you go to does portray a very different theme
as we say in India, right? We have a, you know, differentials and the unity. Here you will find there is a central core theme is like a nature, right? So when from outside you will see the entire red uh, facade that shows the nature. And with that we have a luxury. If you feel in this, you can feel in this uh, ground floor area. So we have a nature and luxury. The combination of this both will, you know, go hand to hand in all the, uh, the, all the um, sectors of the design of the entire building. And uh, here in ground floor, we are depicting the our association, Surat's association with the water. Mm -hmm. So all these uh, st sculptures, our water sculptures, and the uh, reception tables, everything has made which is related to the water. And here, what we say here, see this uh, water droplet slice. Okay. So splash. So it shows the connectivity of Surat, Dam Surat with the uh, nature and especially with the water. Hmm. You know, everybody acts at this point in time wants to come here. Whosoever is coming in Gujarat, earlier it was Statue of uh, uh, Unity, which was like the biggest, and now you have the biggest office also in Gujarat, and PM has been talking about it as well. So clearly, it is with PM's blessings and he's going to be coming to inaugurate this yes our committee has already uh, written uh, pm uh, and inviting them and um, our committee is visiting uh, pmo uh, in this week uh, okay. to inviting them and uh, fixing the date for the inauguration we will look forward to that Mahesh. thank you so thank much you. for joining us and many congratulations for heading this pleasure please thank, thank you, you. Well, that's the building and that are the conversations about the Surat Diamond Bourse, which is the largest office space in the world. Well, the important thing to watch out now would be the November of 21st. That is when it is going to be uh, housed in by its occupants as well and the business would start as normal. We do understand that all the offices here are taken and there is a B2B and a B2C as well. There's a mall, there also is a retail shop where 27 showrooms are going to be open to the customers as well, where you can buy into Surat, into the diamonds here as as well so that is what the street will watch out for this diwali before this year ends the surat diamond boards will be open for business